supinator. So again, the muscle right here is a brachioradialis. That's what we're going to use as a landmark. We're going to pinch that region, and you have to, for the supinator, you have to basically go underneath the brachioradialis on the anterior side. So this is the flexor side. So the supinator, the major action is assist biceps to supinate hand and forearm. So, so supination again, you start the palm down, go up, so that's supination. You have to actually go underneath right in that region then for the supinator. It's a really small muscle. So again, uh, the origin is the lateral epicondyle. So again, lateral epicondyle right here. So anatomical position with the palm up, that's anatomical position. So it's a lateral epicondyle, radial, and um, radial ligament and ridge of the ulna below the radial notch. So it's right around this region. Then the insertion is lateral surface of the proximal one third of the radius. So it kind of kind of hooks around there. But again, it's deeper than the brachioradialis, so that's why you have to kind of hook underneath the brachioradialis to actually locate that. So it's a pretty deep muscle. So this um, supinator, the referral should go right down to a little bit of the lateral, right below the thumb. That's where it should typically refer. And it can also refer right around that area too. So those are the two typical referrals for that then. Next one is the palmaris longus. Palmaris longus, the origin, is actually the medial um, epicondyle, the humerus, and then it goes down to the palm. And the major action is actually flexion of the wrist. So it goes right to the palm area, but it flexes right in there. And palmaris longus, some people don't have that muscle, so just for you to be aware of that one. And for the referral, technically it can go right to the palm region. So it can actually mimic um, people that have palmar fasciitis, so really tight and sometimes it's hard to open up your fingers. So that's the area um, that, that you can actually get the referral from then. So for the um, palmaris longus, what we're going to be, you remember the pronator's teres was right up here, and the pronator's longus go down a couple inches, one inch in, so there's another muscle we'll be getting to pretty soon, but that's most uh, medial here then, okay? But the palmaris longus, if you get any referral um, down to the palm region, more likely you're on that muscle then, okay? But again, some people don't have that muscle right there, okay? So some of the uh, fun facts is the tennis elbow is the lateral epicondylitis. So it's, th again, this is the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. So it's a lot of um, tendonitis in that region. So just imagine when they're serving for, for tennis, that's the area we're going to have to concentrate on. So the, and then also for golfers, is the medial epicondyl region. So that's the area we're going to be concentrating on for that then, okay?